It's a really great pleasure to be here tonight to, um, uh, to welcome Sonny's fascinating book. Actually, we've been in touch about this for yeah, yeah, some one. years, yeah. haven't we? we? We'd hoped that we would make a, a documentary series about it. And still we're, hoping. <laughs> but we're still hoping. The funny thing is, how on the Chinese side they mm. dragged their feet. Mm. We'll talk about that later. The book's called Anglo-Chinese Encounters Before the Opium War. You might think that you're going to get a detailed analysis of diplomatic and commercial relations over those couple of hundred years before the Opium War, but actually this book is about much, much more than that. It's about, you know, culture, food, scholarship, um, what the French call mentalities. Uh, it's, uh, it's really about one of the key relationships in the making of the modern world, namely that between Britain and China. And the issues and the questions it raises are still centrally relevant to what's happening today, especially thinking about the way that the British and the West have perceived China over this long period of time as the great, rich, extraordinary civilization that they recognized in the 17th and 18th centuries, and then the increasingly disparaged, out of time empire that emerges in the historiography of the West in the, the 19th century. So um, everything in the book then reflects the present. And Sonny, you begin near the front of the book with this. No other country is so deeply embedded in modern China's narrative of itself than Great Britain. And Bearing that in mind, I'm going to start by asking you, we've got to start where it starts, with the letters of Queen Elizabeth I to the Wanli Emperor. Some of you may not know of such things. Letters written in 1583, 1596 and 1602. The first two letters were published in the Elizabethan age in Hacklett's Book of Voyages, 1589, 1600. But the third one, and as a Northwestern audience, you will be <laughs> amazed, delighted to hear, turned up in Preston. <laughs> the original letter in the Lancashire County Archive. So I've got to ask you, first of all, some, tell us the story, how that came to be, and how it kind of set you on the search, I guess. Yeah. Well, thank you, Michael, for the wonderful words. Yeah, it's quite an exciting discovery for me. Yeah, uh, I, I heard a story about you know you 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 told the three letters written from Elizabeth the first to the Emperor Wan Li. Yeah, being actually using the story in my teaching of final year class. Yeah, uh, the material I used are uh, in Chinese. Um, they did mention the last letter dated in 1602 survived in excellent condition. Uh, but they never, they've been very vague about where it is today. Uh, they just mentioned in Chinese uh, a British museum. So I tried the British Museum, British Library, uh, National Archives, no luck there. So I thought I'll just need to dig it up a bit more. Uh, and then I came across a source from New Zealand, actually. <laughs> They're saying uh, it's actually in the um, uh, Lancashire Record Office. That was uh, the old name of today's Lancashire archives. At that moment, I couldn't believe it. I said, wait, what? In Little Preston? <laughs> and 10 minutes from my office, literally. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes walk. I couldn't believe it. And I went there immediately with the, the handout I used in class, because there was a picture in, in the printout. So I went to the reception and just uh, asked, I'm actually trying my luck here. Is this letter here? And they said, yes, it is. I said, can I have a look at it? They said, yes, of course. So five minutes later, I laid my eyes on this most hidden gem. In my eyes, it's so precious, yeah, uh, yeah in Preston Lancashire archives. At that moment, I truly felt I was touching history. <laughs> And I also felt I was given a piece of string that I already have some stories like pearls on the table. I can see myself making them into a necklace. So this is the book, it's my end product of that necklace. Fantastic. Yeah. 